One well-known form of garbage collection is reference counting. The idea behind it is that each uh, region of memory is annotated with a number, a counter. Uh, and whenever you need to use uh, said memory, you will increment the counter. And when you're done with it, you decrement the counter. If at any point um, your, uh, the data that you're referring to reaches zero, then the garbage collector will reclaim that data. Additionally, it will go over the contents of the data and will try to find any additional uh, references. And whenever you decrement the, whenever you do a decrement, you should also decrement all the con the contained objects. So this, uh, there is an uh, effectively a cascade uh, happening. Whenever you reference the parent, you should uh, reference the children. Whenever you dereference the parent, you should also dereference the children. One interesting thing that can happen is when you deallocate the parent, you may deallocate multiple um, children. Again, because of this cascade effect. Um, so in this, um, this is the documentation of um, a C API that can be used to perform reference manual reference counting. And here is a, uh, a subtle, subtle thing is that you can still use reference counting manually. Auto an automatic um, me uh, memory management will do the reference and unreferencing automatically. Okay, that's the, the key point. But the primitives are the same even in a manual system. Um, so the, the documentation is explaining what I just said. Uh, the, the last point is that when you create an object, it starts with a use of one, and when you're, you want to pass that object around, say you call a function, you will increment the counter before you pass it to that function. And then when you return from the function, you should decrement the value. So let's look at an example. Uh, and then this example is on the left hand side and on the right hand side, what I did was I wrote the same uh, memory layout in terms of our heap. Um, so the basic idea is when it, you, your memory starts empty, right, with null, and whenever you allocate, the counter starts with one. And in this case, I have a, a reference y, and I assign x to y. So what that does is it will increment, but because I'm referencing, it will increment the counter now to two. If I, at some point, I assign some other value, in this case, I'm assigning null, what I'm doing is I'm decrementing the counter by one. And eventually I will assign x, which is null to y, and that means I'm decrementing it again. So now the, the memory, in this case, this object node, has zero references pointing to it, which means it's safe to be reclaimed. Okay, that's the basic idea. So in our case, uh, let's see if we could apply uh, reference counting. If you recall the memory layout of our uh, initial example, you will note that the function is referencing the environment in which it was created, uh, which means that the counter of E0 is always uh, 1, so you cannot um, decrement it. Right, so E1 has nothing pointing to it, E2 has nothing pointing to it, but for E0 you have multiple. So that means that at some point, even if you didn't have these frames, you would never be able to release this m data. Okay, so um, on the right hand side, I'm just putting the count of what I just said. So there are four uses, one, two, three, four. Therefore, E0 has a counter of 4, and E1, E2, E3 has a counter of 0. So we can safely garbage collect all of these. Um, crucially, we will never be able to reclaim E0, because it points to itself. Um, so here's another example. E2 refers to E2, so it's being used once. E1, 
on the right hand side is being used once, E0 is being one, two, three, three times. So we have all the reference counting here, um, which means that we could never reclaim any of this data. But in fact, we know that E1 and E2 is not being used uh, anywhere, because when I call this function, uh, these two things are never used again. So E1 uh, just points to itself. The problem is, reference counting is unable to handle cycles. And actually, our language is full of cycles. So, um, reference counting cannot be used. Uh, so now let's just go over some of the characteristics of re reference counting. Whenever you allocate an update, uh, there is some overhead. And the reason is because you are referring to things and uh, you have to increment, you have to add a new increment the counter of the given object, uh, which cascades to all of its children. Similarly, reclamation uh, might be problematic because whenever you do a deref, uh, you have to go over all the possible children you may have, which might be, if, uh, in the worst case, all data. Um, so there is there, but however, you have control over when you call dereferencing. Uh, so that is another uh, important characteristic, and that is why some people really prefer reference counting over the algorithm we're going to learn next. Uh, but more importantly, it cannot handle cyclic data structures. So it is really useless for some use cases, such as the one we're going to cover, uh, such as in our language. Um, there is also a space overhead, because for every pointer, you have to add the counter. So you have to have a bit more data for every uh, piece of data you're, you're saving. And that's about it. So in the next video, we're going to cover the idea of reachability. So looking at memory as a graph and reclaiming data that it has uh, nothing pointing to it.